I up, everybody. I'm Dame Dot. Oh, sorry, that was my bad. Day Dot and I'm Roz. I up, everybody. And we are coming to you for from a court pregame. So we're getting ready for court. And we lot everybody gets to see this court set up and pre-stuff that all happens currently right now. They're setting up their highnesses thrones back there and you can see people assembling and getting their chairs together and we thought we'd talk a little bit about stuff we're going to talk about stuff well i thought we were going to talk about protocol and precedent oh we're going to talk about protocol and precedent <laughs> mainly protocol <laughs> so we're going to walk up front so you guys can see so traditionally uh yeah. not even just, just like it is period the king sits in the dead center, typically. Typically, yes. Typically. So tonight's setup is that the king and queen are splitting the center center line. I'm going to show it to you guys. And then Her Highness is sitting on the left, their left, or right, and then His Highness is sitting uh, to the other side. So right now, for this setup, they're having the women, the queen and the princess on one side, and the king and his number one and that's what the prince is 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 the second highest ranking person in glenoff is the prince so he is to the right hand of the king correct and so one thing that i'd like to say it following protocol and precedence when you approach whether their majesties are seated at the thrones or not it is ideal to acknowledge the throne so you would do there and there is his highness so I'm going to acknowledge him, even if he doesn't acknowledge me, just because we are within that 10-foot rule, so it's always good. Right. Want to do a circle? Yeah, you want to talk about the labels, though, so they can recognize it? Some people don't know what the labels are. Okay, so if you look at... But as is, I mean... If you look at the devices, here we have it, and you know it's Whoops. you know it's a royal device if it has the crown. So, as regular populace, we're not allowed to uh, to have adorn the crown. Right. We can't wear the crown. We can't wear the ram with laurel leaves. Right. Um, and then as it's going to, so they're switching it up. We're going to switch sides. Sorry, they're moving. They're figuring it out. Yeah, so let's go back over here and let's talk about the labels. Okay. Um, and Her Majesty, if you don't know, has the uh, Tudor Roses. So that's... Which is heraldically reserved for the Queens. Correct. So what a lot of people don't know, Raj, you want to hit it? This is called a label, and that's how you know the heirs, that that's an heir is thing. Is it? I can't see. Yeah. I can't yeah, see. Yeah, it was it. Yeah. Okay, good. And so that would represent the princess, and then his would represent, and if you notice, there's not a uh, crown on it, because they are not their majesties, but the label is kind of like their crown. Right. right. So, just a little... Yeah, a little proto. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to just take a circle. So, part of the... For those of you who may be new to the SCA, uh, part of the, um, I guess you could say the game that we play, yep. which is a monarchy, is that the deference to the crown and uh, and the heirs. So everyone bows to the crown uh, because they are the highest ranking person in, thank you, Doc, just po point out a hole. Safety, Doc. Here, 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 I'll stand in the hole. This and is, we're going to be the same So this is, this is our normal. There's me in a hole. <laughs> and we're literally the same height. I love holes. I love she holes. likes it when I stand in a hole. So let me dig myself out. So, but the game we play. Yep. Everybody defers to the crown. Yep. Uh, I believe it's even said, you know, even their heirs are supposed to defer to the crown. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we do. And uh, it's, 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 you know, suspends death's disbelief in a way that, you know, enjoy the, the more people who embrace that, embrace mm -hmm. that is it just makes it more interesting and and i can for me i can like forget where i am for a little bit right because when you see them there should be a, a, a acknowledgement of their presence and their authority at that time it yeah. is a monarchy and technically they have the rule of the land yeah. and we should pay honor and tribute as is a custom yeah or should be a custom oh. so what you heard in the background is the kingdom of Trimeris over here is having their kingdom court where they, their king and queen are giving out awards. So if you hear a vivat every so often, 
that's what's happening over there. Yeah, and traditionally Thursday at Gulf Wars, it is Kingdom Court night. Yeah, everybody's so, having court tonight. Yeah, just staggered. Most are starting at 6. They One started at 5. They're starting at 5.30. So, yeah. but all that's on the schedule. Yep. So, other things that happen tonight that tip, you know, if they're present, all the sitting barons and baronesses or the baronies, baronies are invited to sit with the crown up front. Right. That, that typically has happened, right, Dot? Uh, typically, but you can never tell. Sometimes well, I mean, they might not be here. asked, and, and it's at their majesty's leisure. Yeah. Um, so their majesties would invite them to sit in court, and then they would have the option to say, no, let, well, I'm going to sit this one out, or sure, I'd be happy to do it. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what has the prep for it has been. Yeah, I don't know. So either. they may show up, they may. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. You never know what's going to happen in the Glen Auburn court. Yeah, so as you can see, we have a few fencers who do who are doing some final practices for the night. And you see our populace is starting to arrive and trying to get ready for court. And we are on the rapier field. So if you're not familiar with the Gulf Wars, this is the rapier field. There were most of the rapier activities. And you can see in the very back the... The, um, the fort. fort, if you can see it's it. It's called a fort. <laughs> it is, it's that thing with turrets and things. And so, a, tell us in the comments how much, many times we're going to mess up our words tonight. Mm. Look, at, look at that pretty It looks like bed. a ram. Right? Look at that ram. Look, it looks like a oh ram. Oh, it's magical. So cool. It does not look like a ram that way. But it looks like a ram that way. Well, he went away. It's sort of there. Oh, it's sort of there. Anyway, so, <laughs> Shiny uh, things. other things that happen today. Uh, oh, the Meridian Rose Tournament. Um, our own Mistress Ross fought in it. We actually had a great representation in the we, list. I think all our people did really well in the yeah. tournament. And many of them advanced. So if you're not familiar, there's how many fighters? There was 10, 10 fields with about seven, at we, least seven. We had eight in my, my ring. We had seven in the one that I um, had a fighter in. And t times 10. So a lot of fighters single elimination but then the the ring gets to select two the winner of the ring and then the ladies got to select a second one and uh, mr Ross was selected and i think we counted we five. had five, five the i think there was five total glenavon people represented in the semifinals. right and that so. was big for us i don't remember that last year us having that many so yeah. so it, it went good. really well it was last good. year we had two yeah, last year we had two, so, yeah. um, and that is a huge tournament. If you want fights, ooh, that's... It, it was a good, it, I don't know, I had a great experience. I had a, uh, I asked the Valkyrie squad to come out and support me, because uh, Fergus had, was doing marshalling elsewhere, and, you know, I don't know, it, it, you know, nerves leading up, and I was like, this is great. This yeah, is she, really she had a really good time, and there is going to come a video of her just <laughs> making me laugh. I'm, it will probably be on TikTok. But one of the best moments at this Gulf Wars <laughs> coming just, soon to coming TikTok. Coming soon to TikTok. So. What, that's what I'm good for. So uh, a lot of beautiful stuff coming. People, people typically at Glenavon courts like to dress up, wear their nice stuff, you know. So, but it, it's a little hot. Oh, it's a little, you know, Mrs. I think it just looked like I had a sweat mustache. Oh, <laughs> we are editing to take a moment to uh, clean up dot. <laughs> it is. I think I got one too. It's very, very hot out here. So we were going to. What's all this other stuff that happened today? Yeah. I don't know. The Meridian tournament was the that was the big. Thing. Oh, the ravine. Battle. The ravine battle. But I took a nap through that. <laughs> what did I do? I, I took my page shopping. So that's what I. More did. saris, saris, and more saris. I bought her a sari. So. They're they're beautiful. But the ravine battle, I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, I know Sir Rashid fought in, and he's exhausted. Mm, I think a lot of people are exhausted, yeah. you know. That's when you need to be doing your hill sprints at your, your house to get ready. Yeah. Um, and that's all that I was familiar with. But once again, I had a very limited nappy day kind of today. Yeah. Um, Shall we walk around and talk to some populace yeah, members? see if somebody wants to talk to us. Well, there's uh, Mistress Amelia. We can say hi to her. She's in the middle of something. We, oh, we, get, we can go get Effen, that Effen guy. That Effen guy's uh, he fought, sprinting away He from fought us. in the tournament today. That was all good. There he goes. We could talk to uh, Master Olyek, who's a Laurel of Glen Oven. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so tell us what you were, were Laurel for. Um, 
medieval life skills. So he made medieval fire and all this cool rope and all this cool stuff. So he's awesome. Look him up. He's fun. Thank you for talking to us. We're live on Instagram. So, so. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we will grab her. Hey guys, we're live on Instagram. Do you mind waving and saying hi? Hello. This is members of Populous. Looking lovely. Thank you guys. So uh, we here is Mistress Elspeth Thielman, the Elspeth Elizabeth. What is your SEA name? Whatever you want. So we're live on Instagram. Can you tell us what you were Laurel for? I think the book binding, woodworking. Uh, a little illumination, a little, little woodworking. Yeah. The chairs. She, ma the she chairs. made the chairs that we showed you either earlier. Oh, you got yeah. really look. Yeah. She, she made them. So this is David Archer here. Yeah. If you don't know by his name, Archery. So very cool. Yeah. Thank you. There's Tristan. He's one of the guys that fought this at the Meridian Rose tournament. Let me make sure you're in there. There you are. Fancy. And uh, TikTok Hall of Fame for his right. uh, most interesting man. Wait, I, I must hand him a, a beverage. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, hey, get out of here. Sticking your shirt back in. <laughs> it's out. It's how, was, it's how was fighting in the Rose Tournament today? It was excellent, fun, honorable, and a very inspirational in a very cool dream kind of moment. It was. Yeah, it was, it was really good. It was fun to watch. He, of course, uh, fought for Mistress Morgana. I mean, uh, did I get right that? Right over oh, Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah and, yeah. of course, represented her very well. Uh, always fun to fight, to watch fight this one. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's very, 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 very light on his feet. Very, very light on his feet. Light. Oh, look, here's Lady. Thank you, Tristan. Thank you, Lady. Lady. This is Lady Adeline. So she competed for Glen Ovens a and s Warpoint and did a, what was the name of your Shakespeare piece? If I Were a Woman, Shakespeare's Cross-Dressing Comedians and the Women Who Love Them. Yeah, it was really love good. It. And she had the, was the Glen, Glen Oven Champion? Performing Arts. The winner, what, how did, how did they how phrase, did they phrase it? it? I'm, the, I'm screwing the it I had the top score of our kingdom at the ANS. So the kingdom <laughs> champion at the ANS. There we go. <laughs> yes. So with a the, really good score. So yeah. Very yeah. well done. Thank you Thank for being you. on Thank Instagram you. Live with the Kingdom, Lady Atkins. Where are we going now? Want to go to the back? Um, who are we going to go to? Who can I see? Who can I see? Let's um, see what we got. Oops, there's a, let's go back here and. Oh, look, there's Mistress Gwyneth. We can, oh, yeah. we can ask her. Hey, G Dog. Hey. Would you be on Instagram Live with us for a second? So, this is Mistress Gwyneth. She is actually one of the OG uh, Laurels of the Apocalypse. OG. Laurels of the Apocalypse. So, she was the string person in that. Uh, knitting, I don't know, weaving. She does stuff. And she used to only wear red. So, you would this know. This is a departure for me. <laughs> it is. It's a new thing. She, yeah, I don't. Did you I have your color recognized. blocking where they said you're, yes, you're a yes. winter? Uh -huh. yeah, I am a winter. Right. Yes. <laughs> well, there yes. you go. So, and what yeah. group are you from? Small gray bear. Small gray bear. Very cool. Love her so. to death. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway, thank you for being on you're Instagram. You're welcome. So. Oh, <clears throat> let's talk to. You. Tell us your SCA name. I am Alexandros der Osrufer, um, which is my German name for my Moogle persona. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you and know, know it all we happens. We love that. Yeah. yeah you know, what happens. am I today? I don't know. Egyptian Scythian, you know, right. whatever. And, and we've been talking saris. Have you found some good saris? I actually oh. found the sari this week at war at Miriam's. Look at this sari. It's Look green at blue that shot sari. silk. So I'm living my best life. Yes. yes, all good. Well, you look wonderful. Thank As you for always. being on Instagram Live with us. So As so, always. So, so we're going to briefly go past Lady Shadow because I know that she won't talk to us. Bloom. And now. <laughs> Lady Shadow is from the Shire of Ironock. She's a fencer. So. So. Yeah. Let's see. I think that's really all. We were just talking to a bunch of people, having a little fun tonight. Yep. This might be our final eye up for the uh, the war. Yeah, we're expecting rain tomorrow, so we don't know what uh, the actual festivities are going to be. Right. So we're just going to play it by ear for tomorrow. But we appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll be coming at you live again at some point. 
absolutely. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you at our next event. I up. I up, everybody. Good.